Okay, I'm getting ready to put this inner rocker panel in over here. Um, I cleaned out this rust out of here as best I could. I got it stripped. I got a little bit of rust going on here. So I'm going to cut out this area right there and put a patch in there. And uh, we've got this rust here. So I'm going to make that patch come up and then weld that patch to here and then to the floor. So uh, we'll try and fix all that at one shot. Okay, I've got this piece uh, fitted. It's coming up through the bottom. It's going to weld to this gap here in the floor and then to here. And uh, it's uh, got this piece attached to it. So, basically it looks like that, and we're going to get rid of that rust holes there, and get this uh, inner rocker panel on next. Alright, I got my weld through primer in the mail. <laughs> Okay, I got these areas uh, ground down to bare metal, uh, sprayed it with some of the uh, weld through primer. Uh, then I also cleaned out this cavity down here and uh, got the rust out of there and hit that with a little bit of rusty metal primer. So I'm going to start getting ready to weld this together. Okay, I got that patch welded in from the bottom there and uh, I welded it uh, here and here. So I'm going to weld a little patch piece back here because there's some rust here. And uh, trying to weld from the bottom side was pretty difficult. Uh, I got a lot of crappy welds, but they, you know, they did weld. So I'm just going to grind that down, throw some fiberglass on it. But uh, I think that's looking pretty good. And I'm ready to uh, continue working down along this, uh, putting this in a rocker panel in now. Okay, I got most of the major bubbles off there. That's about as flat as I need it to get that fiberglass in there. And uh, this is ready to go too. Okay, I'm mixing up some uh, fiberglass. And uh, this is the hardener. I always just kind of guess on this. I use this fast before it hardens. Okay, that looked like a lot of hardener, so I'm in a hurry. Okay, that thing hardened pretty quick. Um, I got most of the coverage under there. It hardened really fast. Uh, I'd like to get a few spots. So I'm going to mix up a little bit more and give it another coat. Okay, I got a second coat on there. And uh, I'm just going to hit the inside of here with a little bit of uh, primer to keep the rust off that new weld. And uh, that whole area is looking pretty good. Okay, I'm getting ready to uh, install that in a rocker panel. We had to cut off one of these uh, end brackets that was rusty. So uh, I used one of the new pieces of metal that I ordered, these brackets, and we uh, are fabri I'm fabricating a, a new L bracket. <clears throat> uh, and since we had to cut there, I made these little uh, bands. I'm going to weld those right there to give that some more support. I put another weld here, and uh, that should be ready to uh, go on the underside, 
and that'll fit where that we cut off that old bracket. All right, I got this bracket uh, welded, looking good, strong again. I'm gonna grind those down, and uh, looks like I'm uh, almost out of gas again. So I've been thinking about uh, on some of these items where it's not really that important uh, to just use the flux core wire. I won't need the gas bottle. Uh, it creates a little bit more splatter um, and the, the welds are dirty but you can clean up the welds with the wire wheel. Uh, so in some of those areas where I won't be, uh, you know, like on areas where on the outside of the body like the uh, sheet metal the quarter panels and stuff I want to uh, make sure I use the gas but some of these other pieces it's not all that important okay I'm gonna be welding this on right here and uh, as soon as that's on there I can put that in a rock panel in there Getting some uh, weld through primer on the end of these uh, brackets here. Let's see. 